The elk is one of the largest members of the deer family. Elk are found as native species in North America and Asia, although they've also been introduced successfully to other continents. Within North America, there are about eight subspecies. The common subspecies that Western Canadian tree planters would be likely to see would be the Roosevelt elk, which thrives in rainforest areas such as parts of Vancouver Island, and also the Rocky Mountain elk, which has a broad range throughout most of British Columbia and parts of Alberta. Elk are very large animals. An adult male Rocky Mountain elk often weighs around 700 pounds. A fully grown Roosevelt elk often weighs in at a staggering 1,200 pounds. That's almost the same size as a large grizzly bear or a large moose. By comparison, a regular white-tailed deer will rarely weigh over 300 pounds. In Eurasia, what North Americans know as a moose is called an elk. This is certainly confusing. What North Americans know as the elk is called a wapiti, or a red deer, in Eurasia. Elk have a reddish or tan tinge to their coats, although in winter they may have whiter fur. It's easy to distinguish them from moose, which are a lot darker. Here's a quick shot of a moose for comparison purposes. Male elk grow massive horns each year. These are quite forked and pointed, which is another way to distinguish them from moose, since moose antlers, when present, are more flattened and webbed. Here's a shot of a caribou. A caribou is a smaller animal that looks similar to an elk, and this confuses a lot of people. The caribou is called a reindeer in Europe, and is found only occasionally in parts of BC. You can usually make the distinction between elk and caribou by the fact that most caribou fur is a lot darker brown, and they often have white chests or necks. Some Native American and Asian cultures look upon the elk as a very spiritual or mystic being, and often use their antlers in medicine. Elk are vegetarian animals, eating grasses and other plants, and bark and leaves. Male elk have a loud vocalization consisting of screams known as bugling, which can be heard for miles. Elk, just like moose, look like they're a safe and a fun animal, but they can actually be more dangerous than bears if they decide that humans are intruding on their territory or might be a danger to their young.